And there are growing concerns today among Democrats over President Joe Biden's debate performance last week. At a fundraiser last night, the president blamed it on the amount of travel he did in the weeks before the debate. Already one sitting congressman has calling on the president to bow out. Jared Hill has the latest from New York. In a CBS News exclusive, Vice President Kamala Harris forcefully pushed back on calls for President Joe Biden to drop out of the 2024 race. Look, Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once and we're going to beat him again, period. It comes as questions mount from within the party about his fitness to serve another term following a rocky first debate. Yesterday, at a fundraiser, the president offered a new explanation, blaming his poor performance on nearly back-to-back -back trips to Europe and California in the weeks before and telling attendees, I didn't listen to my staff and then I almost fell asleep on stage. We understand that it was a bad night. He knows how to do the job. Tuesday, White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre said it was a cold and that he's not suffering from something more serious. Tuesday, 77-year-old Texas Congressman Lloyd Doggett became the first sitting Democratic member to publicly call on Biden to bow out. We must have the strongest possible candidate, and I don't believe that's Joe Biden. Other Democrats are also voicing concerns. I was pretty horrified by the debate. He needs to make sure that the American people have confidence um, in his ability to, to run for re-election. Now President Biden is trying to shore up more support. Later today, he's set to meet with a group of Democratic governors, and he has campaign rallies, a TV interview, and a solo news conference scheduled in the coming days. Jared Hill, CBS News.